Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. <laughs> Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Oh boy. Nice. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? <laughs> What's going Only on? Only that it was Ashley's somehow connected hands. to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. 
With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, uh -huh. this isn't well, helping us find you. Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Nice. It's a good mission. Alright, so let's see where we're headed next. So let me do some examining first. Some reviewing. Get some XP.
Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. Did they change positions after mis missions? I think so. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the Is this an at. official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Ooh. Good stuff. <laughs> Do we get rewards in our own locker every once in a while? Seems like it. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Ooh. Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. 
It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect Don't me in the lab somewhere. try to study me. <laughs> what? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> I'd be so nervous if somebody was like, yeah, I gotta go now. After that mistake. It's like, uh, wait, 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 I didn't mean that. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Sure. What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. To sell all junk. Looking for supplies? Not right now. No problem. Hey. Keep checking. Actually, back. wait. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've you got. You bet, Commander. Uh, sniper rifle. Whoa! Holy moly, that's a lot of money. Assault rifle. I can only wear light armor. Hmm. Does it show you the stats? Like, oh, there you go. That's how you see it. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it's a lot better <laughs> in like every aspect. How much is it? 11 sure assault rifle 3 my current one does a lot more damage but the rating is better increase maximum metagel units by 1 cost 190 that's it grenades by 1 sure That costs so much. All of these do. Jeez. Is it? Can you compare it with Rogan? Okay. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably he's so quiet all of a sudden. Stuff. I guess he's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all. He thinks I'm being too rash. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. 
No offense. Typical. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not gonna play by- If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted- Just because you can break the rules doesn't I mean- I see you what you mean, but thanks, Commander. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good. good. He's rotten. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the terminus. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. But my instinct, every other merc on that mission, turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Damn. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... Humanity, I mean... Have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. <laughs> what about me? Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? <laughs> that depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. We'll talk later, Williams. <laughs> Looking forward to it, sir. Uh, sure. We already talked to everyone else. I guess we can talk to Talia too. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? 
I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel... out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Cool. Alright. Let's go uh, continue exploring the current um, area that we're in. I just want to survey all of the planets and then we'll jump to the next one for the next mission, so I guess. Let's walk through here and run up to the map. Just about 1.30. We got some good amount of time left. Okay, so we I think we saw all of the planets in this one the Message lady. coming in oh, okay. Passing it through Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication If you're interested in hearing my offer meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person I'll be waiting in the diplomats lounge on the Presidium Okay gonna check out this one real quick commander I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface it looks like an automated distress beacon hmm sure squad that's so cool seeing the thing just playing just like that <laughs> okay. so which way do we go I guess this way
let's get moving. Maybe it's this way. See stuff up there. What do you do with this? Survey mineral, mineral. I honestly do not remember any of this. Oh, I didn't realize that you could look up the map either. Stress. The distress single signal is this way. That destination. Dropping frames, like in general, for me. this how it's directional I wish when I press forward it would go just forward going on dodge viper dt how you doing like a warthog from halo yeah it's for off i mean it it's fine like it feels good but it's weird how like when i like right now i'm pressing w but then if you look backwards and you still hold w now it goes backwards and then when you go for move it forward like i'm still holding w It's weird. 
Like I, I wish it. I wish like you could look forward, and like if I was looking backwards, still holding W. Like that, it would still be going forward. But yeah, takes a little bit. Wonder if there's a an option? Cause I like the new the controls are like it definitely feels good compared to how it used to. Move forward, move back. Okay, whatever. See if we can fight that thing one more time. We almost took it down. It's also weird when you're going straight, it like... Oh god. Don't get close. Do not get close like that. Like, see, oh, I'm looking, I'm looking sideways. It's weird. Like, it doesn't know whether to go straight or back. So then you get, like, stuck. Kind of screwed myself. About to explode. I'm dead. Alright, I'm gonna give it like one or two more tries, and then if not, then we're out of here.
you serious? It needs like one more hit. <laughs> Yo, Dodge Viper GT. Yo, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Almost got it, though. Almost got it. Okay, we have the... One more shot should do. Let's see if we can quick save. Come on. End it! End it! End it! What? Well, at least I quick saved like one second before. Let's see. His health is all over. Can he be dead? this is it just a point of interest yeah okay how do we le uh, return to normandy got it that was interesting Almost missed that one. Checking the asteroids to see if there's anything else. I don't see anything. Not sure if I checked this one already. Maston. Check out this one. All right. Land. I'm good. Unless if we got like a beacon or something, then I'll do it. But I don't want to really land on every single planet that we survey. good there um we did have a communication so i'm gonna go to the citadel i'll land here we had somebody that wanted to meet us over at uh Forget which one it was. I think the ambassador area. The sauna and the embassy lounge on the 
Sinium level of Citadel. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Whoa. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. <laughs> this experiment <laughs> diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, this we guy. make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. He's going to be like, holy Commander, what? Commander, I'm not happy. What? About what? What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab Guy's rather than eyes on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow <laughs> alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Wait, can I upgrade before? No. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as... Negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Jeez. That guy was something else. <laughs> A little rough. Okay. Uh let's see. Basic armor, shield boost. Uh yeah, I'm gonna need that. So let me Lock basic armor. Oh. Level eight. Uh, lock assault training. Increase damage reduction by that. Increase hardening by 12. Uh, assassination. Accuracy. Encryption. Ew. 
do that one. Uh, sure, we can do this. Tactical armor. Then Rex. Lock throw. That works. And we, we might do combat armor next. I like having my guys be like jack of all trades. Doesn't seem like the auto save is going through. There's quick saves, but I don't see any, I don't see any tutorials or auto saves working. Two pretty crucial things, if you ask In me. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hmm. Ah. Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? It's time for you to shut up. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. That was a good interview. <laughs> not bad. Got paid for it too. Was that, um, missing Marines? Who, uh, return to the Citadel Tower. Or inform the Matt Admiral of their fate. To the Dell Tower. Nisana in the Embassy Lounge. Oh, wait. Here we go. Travel transport. Citadel Tower and then embassies. Cool. Fake news. <laughs> there they are. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is Kohoku. there something I can do for you? 
You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance Beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Cool. Getting paid for each contact we speak with, too. Alright, let's go over to, uh, let's see, the embassies. So fast. <laughs> nice. Asana. Do a quick save. There she is. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. <laughs> That's a stupid law. Some of these responses are 100 so different than what they seem like. You need my help. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. I don't do this for payment. I'll do it, forget it. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Oh. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. I would promise that, just in case, but... I mean, yeah, Shepard. So, where are they at? In the Artemis Tau cluster and infiltrate the military base. News vid, find the missing researchers. Okay. Let us go back to the ship and figure out one of our next assignment will be or well mission. I think this is the right way. Yep. Yeah, the Citadel rapid transports are much better. Are we able to just like go straight back to the the ship, I wonder? 
they're like a whoops dock location or something Citadel Tower maybe words flex markets How do I get down? I know one of these. Maybe it's the tower one. Not tower, I mean, um, words access financial district. On sort of chambers. It's the chambers. Oh. <laughs> Tower, uh, lounge. Flux nightclub. You know what? Let's check this place out. We haven't been here yet. You should be careful who you say that around. What? It's out of my hands, Reed. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Bouncer, patron. Hey, good to see another human in here. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone else. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow, payout. I won 100 credits. Woo. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Suspicious like gambling machine. machine. It's their way. I'll run a trace. Ah. Was that Rita that we talked to? Yeah, it was. Right, let's see if we can fast travel over to the den. Aura's den. All right, that's this area. There's the giant battle over here. Well, not giant, but... Hi, 
I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. <laughs> I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Not now. I'm watching the show. Go away. Let me... let me drink it. Wait a minute. Guy wasn't here before. Hey. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. All right, chat, I'm gonna... All right, we're good. So that guy said to meet over at, uh, the C something, C sec. Academy. I think there's a fast travel. Yep, right here. Words. Be sick. I forget where. I really don't remember where you go to. To get. Never mind. Just found out. It's in the CSEC Academy. <laughs> that takes you to the docking bay. Right there. Okay. There's that guy. There's me. No. Whew. I'm gonna Blake. There's no hard evidence against her, but there's reports that are correct. She's a powerful criminal element on the Citadel. She was last seen in Emporian. Ah, okay. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chelek. As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chelek. Figure out another way. 
I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax, pick up the mods, and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Nice. Hello. Moving out. I guess that's maxed up or maxed out all the way. My charm. Unless if you need more paragon to to get more. Uh, advanced marksman. Do shield boost. Engineer. Reduce the recharge time and tech pretend protection goes up. Yeah, we'll do one of those electronics I feel like my stuff is all over the place <laughs> so That's all right, I guess Assault training. Make the target unable to move or attack, but it's also immune to damage. Ow. Squad members will use, uh, will not use unless selected from the power wheel. Oh, actually, I don't want that. There we go. And there we can unlock fitness, but I don't really need it. Or Rex, at least. I don't know. Who knows? At some point, I might change up their stuff, anyways. But for now, I think we're good. Graphic control. Water bottles in the way. Yay. <clears throat> Actually, let me check our assignments. We, so we have two things to check out now. Uh, we have track the signal and the wards access corridor and make the pickup. Um, lower wards markets. So market markets and access corridor. You arrived in the wards. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Oh, hey, come around. there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. 
Being a Spectre is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. He has no idea. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. <laughs> Hi guys, something else. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. Huh? Human, uh, whoa. Some of this costs a lot. Uh, compare? Good amount. Better for that, at least. Firestorm, shotgun, pistol. How's this edge, dude? Edge four. I I feel like I might find one out there eventually. This thing, yeah, I'll take that upgrade. Why not? For Normandy quartermaster. Combine license for the Normandy quartermaster. Sure. Light armor. Three. Shepherd or assassin three. There's like no biotic. You know, I'd rather have some stuff that's uh more equal. That's good. Save. So I'm not too sure where this guy is at. Oh, I think he said he's in the lower markets. Yeah, right now we're in the upper. So how do we ensure there's steps somewhere? Right, right there. <laughs> I was literally looking at them. I was right in front of them at one point too. Okay. Now I know there's a few more other people down here too, so we can probably talk to them. There's Jax. Forgot about him. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here, Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Wait, were we supposed to do that? Oh, okay, yeah. We weren't, I mean, we weren't supposed to arrest him or anything. He just said Hello he there. needed a Welcome sample. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Standard items. Uh, da, 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 for Normandy Quartermaster. Okay. 95. I mean, it's so cheap, might as well. How about this Raptor 4? A lot better. <laughs> but I don't have that uh, money yet. It also costs a lot more. Okay. So that's good. Well, we have a lot of... Assignments. Find Helena Blake. In the financial district of the... Okay. We can also go there. Financial district. There's so many quests on the Citadel. 
Once we leave the Citadel, I'm definitely going to be you, this is not what going to uh, Who are you other to areas. What my husband would want? I'm the only person Whoa. making sense right now. The, the main story, I mean. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... Damn. It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. I love quick and easy like quests like that that are just simple conversations like find out all the info all that cool stuff and then you're you're set uh okay so we need to find this person wait actually we haven't talked to bar Levon for a bit so let's see if there's anything greetings new. earth clan i believe congratulations are in order commander shepherd you are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some of them <laughs> want to see you fail. Oh. <laughs> I, however, Why is he look around? wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Commander. Where is she at? I've seen the near the Emporium in the final Tonight, the the financial district. Jeez, words are tough. Who is that lady? Aha! Uh -huh. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You. I mean, all these are so. These items are so cheap, so I don't see why not. 
uh damage protection eh. phoenix and i even wear um if i get a squad will it even let me wear higher armor or am i stuck with i think i'm stuck with light armor which is fine like it's not a big deal for me I want to unlock higher overload. This other one seems like a pretty cool ability that I use semi often. Uh, shield boost. Let me throw that right there. Sabotage, overload, unity, AI hacking. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Renegade? What? All I did was accept the quest. Eliminate crime lords. Track the signal. Return the shipment to Shellic. Alright, let's take it back to him. Where's that? I don't know where that corridor is. It was lower wards? Uh, wards access corridor. We can go to markets. I'm going to just walk out into the public area and see if I can find it. It's somewhere around here. I mean, it can't be too far. Might be it below us. We'll see. Markets, lower wards, lower markets, Citadel, ESEC, Flux. Probably going to lower wards, I guess. I 
Oh wait, that's the wrong way. down here and before the pre-rolls start running again let me run one of these while I'm searching alleyway I think this might be it Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go down one more time to the uh, lower, and then if nothing's there, then we're just gonna go up and go back to Shellic. Actually, the only other thing I can think of is down here. Or all the way in the back in Fist's office. No, actually, I don't think though. I don't know. Whatever. Where I'm just gonna go back to C C sec. Words access. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Proceed down the stairs to the wards. Wait, do you really have to go through another door? Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Here we go. This hey, is where we hey, need to go. You're the shepherd kid. I'll talk to this guy first. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Uh, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta? I, I worked with your mother. What? We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for here. vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah. 
It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. If you ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? Okay. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shift? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for a Novio's farewell thing. Damn it. Oh, signal it. source. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Ah. Oh. You ever just sit and watch people? <laughs> Financial district well, and the a lot. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Boy. Journal. He insists so you knew your mother asking for the sign. Uh, you could easily contact your mother using Normandy's FTL comm room. Okay. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. So now we're down here. Where is, we need the access or like one of those terminals to fast travel. There's one. So now it's in the financial district. Once we capture this person and I uh, hand in the weapon for the other guy, then we're just gonna go back onto the ship. And we can do any other stuff later on. No way. Don't. Does it really lead to him? Greetings, Earth Clan. Ah, dude. How can this humble servant be of use to you? So, yeah. Let me I should go. Goodbye, Wait, Commander. Does it really lead to right here? Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the city. Wait, now it goes down here. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self destruct protocol. Oh boy. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Oof. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. Oh. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, 
and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universal. I am not naive, human. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Override system. Adam. Well, that was interesting. Kind of cool. Okay. So now we head over to uh, the CSEC uh, undercover good dude. Give him the uh, equipment that we got. there uh do -do -do. great yes this way Where the office is Shellick. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Shellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. And you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now, I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Okay, cool. Not bad. All right, let's head to the uh, ship, and then I'm going to take a quick break here. Um, we're actually in the perfect area, too. In Do breaking news, day. Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Let me guess. We'll probably end up saving him. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Okay, so uh, let me go. What was that one quest? Uh, quest we had. Let me do this real quick because it'll only take a second. Uh, you can easily contact your mother using Normandy's FTL comm room. Where's the comm room? Combat information center. Oh, that's a galaxy map. Okay. Bridge airlock. Um, I think it's down below. Um, room might be down even further captain's office let me go in there and see if there's anything i have or maybe it's in that the, no i think that's a sleeping bay 
Okay. Nothing here. I remember in um one thing I always liked in in two Mass Effect two is you could always put on like the uh uh admiral outfit or something like that. You can put it on a different type of outfit that I, I thought always looked pretty neat. Is it down here? Yeah, I don't know where the, the commanding um link there he is. Let me go back up. Go back up onto this level. Oh, calm room. It's all the way in the back. Oh my gosh. I was right here the whole time. Computer, give me a real time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Exo Shepard. Oh, hi. I don't yeah, have time Shepherd. for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the I had day. no Batarians idea. Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. You could Zabaleta talk to was his one of the first down. He... He was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling, uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Kilimanjaro. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Alright, chat. Uh... Next time we go to the Citadel, we'll, we'll chat with him again. Um, we'll do that like first thing. But we have a ton of other assignments as well to do. So, I am going to get the interest, get the tack. Yeah. I'm going to pause real quick and take another quick break. Then when I get back, we'll go ahead and continue where we're at right now. So I will be back. <laughs> 